everyone and welcome to this video. In today's video, um, as you can maybe guess and read from the title, um, I'm going to be storing new photo cards into my binders. Uh, this is going to be completely shiny, 100% shiny because they are the only group that I collect at the moment. Um, yeah, OT5, if it's very stressful, it's very <laughs> nerve-wracking um headache inducing sometimes but um still it's lots of fun and i'm enjoying it a lot so yeah this is the stack of photo cards that i have today i think it's about uh 70 or 80 photo cards and um i also have a few bigger inclusions to store and i'm going to start with the bigger inclusions to just have these out of the way i guess so yeah let's just begin the first thing i have right here is the oops the don't call me clear file it's this one i showed this in a video i think so This is the first time I'm doing this kind of setup, by the way, so um, I still have to get a little used to it. So yeah, hope you don't mind if I am a little awkward or something like that. Uh, then next up, I have a dice poster. Uh, I had this up on my wall, but I decided to take it down and replace it with another poster. So I'm going to put this in my binder now. Then we have the circle sequence film. This was the second one that I was missing. I have the other one here. I pulled that from my album. And then right behind it, I want to put the XL postcards because I finally found a one pocket page that fits these. So. Yeah, I decided to put these in here. And uh, then I have the circle poster, the second one. This was the first one. Just gonna put this here in the back. Then next up, I have this gasoline poster. I also had this uh, up on my wall, but again, decided to take it down and replace it with something else because, yeah, with K-pop albums, you just get a lot of posters. And um, yeah, and I don't have that much space in my room, so. Here we go. And then I have the two uh, killer posters. This is the first one. I don't know from which version this is. I think this was from the zine version, so the photo book version. And then we have the second one. This is from, uh, I think, the game pack version, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I have to put all of these in folded because otherwise they wouldn't fit, so. Okay, then we have a Japanese pop for Superstar, the clear file. So this one also showed it in a video. Go. The whitewashing on this photo is insane. <laughs> seriously and then we have the mask case for superstar as well again insane whitewashing what the hell these men are not that pale in real life <laughs> i know that for a fact so and then i have the 
and life goes on clear file also oh i wanted to take this off oh whatever <laughs> let's just put this in now stuff from the season's greetings i have the postcard this is the first one and the second one there we go very nice and following that we have the polaroid and the scratch cards. Perfect, and then we move on to SMCU Palace Inclusions. They're here in the back. Uh, let me see. Yeah, first up we have the poster that came in the guest version. And for this one, I pulled Jinky. the AR ticket inclusions. So first we have the postcard. And the little photo sticker, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to put this in a two pocket for now because I don't have any like four pocket pages or something like that. So that will just go in here for now. Then I have the two 4x6 photos, so here we have Jinkies. And Minhos. I will eventually get key bombs, I think, as well, but um, that is not a priority as of now. So, And then we have the Own You Note Air Ticket Set. So I think on the first page, I want to put the just envelope first, or card, whatever you want to call it, um, and the little message card. And then on the second page, I'm going to put the photo. and the ticket. Great, okay then this is it for the bigger inclusions. So I'm gonna turn all the way to the front again so we can take care of the photo cards. So yeah, let's um, store some photo cards because we have quite a lot to go through and i'm very excited to finally store these i've been holding on to these for quite a while now i would say like maybe two months maybe not full two months but definitely definitely a month and a half i would say so okay let's see where we can store the first card i think yeah so the first Cards I'm going to store away are everybody cards, two in total. So first up we have Jinkies. go. And second we have Timmins. Very pretty. And then for the bookmarks, I also have one since it came with the album that I bought. I have Jinky's bookmark. Got 
and nothing for odd but I have something for Mary to the music so first I have jinkies again so cute I love this card and now a very special moment I'm going to be storing my first Jonghyun card. Woo! So excited. Love this card. So cute. So happy to have it. Oops. There we go. Nice. Then, ooh, I'm also very excited to store this one. We have this Jinky one in one. So cute. One of my favorite cards. Then let's see. Um let me see. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, so I didn't mark this as on the way, so I was confused for a second. So here we have this Minhao from the Story of Light EP3. So that goes right here. And then I also didn't mark this one, I think. I have this Jinky from Epilogue. Um, I'm just gonna put it here. Don't know if it's A or B, <laughs> whatever. There you go. And yeah, then I have, I also didn't mark this as on the way, <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, then we have Timin from Don't Call Me, the reality version. And then for Atlantis, I have Timmins as well. I'm going to put this right here. And that's it for Korean releases. So let's move on to uh, Japanese releases. I have three pocket pages right here because um, as you may have heard, Shiny is having a comeback very soon. Um, I think by the time you see this, they probably already had a comeback, so... And yeah, I just put a few pages in here to um, set up for them. However, I'm thinking that three pages will probably not be enough because they dropped the, well, parts of the album details a few days ago. And um, turns out there's gonna be three photo book versions. Um, one package version, one digi, well, like four digi packs and four as minis, and for the three photo book versions, there is there are gonna be twenty four photo cards, just for the photo book versions. <laughs> There's like eight photo cards for each version, which is absolute insanity. Um, and as an OT five collector, I am losing my mind because. This is too much. This is way too much. But yeah, what can you do? Okay, then yeah, we have the first Japanese card. We have a Sugarlock card. It's this one. Yeah, I didn't set up for everything concerning like Japanese releases and stuff just because I didn't have enough nine pocket pages. So that's the main reason for it. So yeah, this is Jinky's Lucky Star card. Um, yeah, put it in like this. And on the next page we have I'm Your Boy. Again, I have the card for 
Jinky. Yeah, like I said, I do collect OT5, but I have like a slight priority for Jinky because he is my ult, so I just buy like tend to buy more of his photo cards than of the other members, but generally speaking, I do collect OT5, of course. And we have Superstar. This one. So the selfies are complete for Jinky. So I'm only missing his two concept uh, cards. But yeah, selfies are complete. I'm very excited about that. And then we have a non Jinky card. <laughs> Kibam. Very cute. I love this card. This card is so cute. There we go. And then here in the back, I have kind of like my miscellaneous. Well, it's not really miscellaneous because I have a Kibam album card here. This is from Bad Love. But the thing is, I haven't set up for Bad Love yet. So, um, yeah, that's why it's in here, but I should set up for Bad Love, Bad Love. I to totally should, so I just haven't got around to it yet, but yeah, I'm gonna put um, Jinky's Dr. G photo card here in the middle. There we go. And I just remembered that I have another bad love card that I traded for very recently. Um, so I guess I'm just going to put that here as well for now um, until I properly set up for bad love. I'm going to put it here. I did write random clear card for Jinky's concert merge, but um, I'm going to put that somewhere else. So I have a space here. So yeah, for now it's going right here. And that's it for this binder. So and now we can move on to the solo and non-album binder, which is right here. So yeah, like I said, here I keep all my solos and non-album. And yeah, for this video, most of the cards I have are going in here. So on the first page, as you can see, a lot of on the way. Um, so, yeah, I'm very excited. Um, a fellow Jingu on Instagram um, gifted me a few cards, which I'm very grateful for. So, so we have the first one. This is from Voice. It didn't gift me that one, but... <laughs> They did gift me the next few cards. So those are the Uno cards from Dice. So here we have O. Then we have N. Then we have E. And the W I pulled from my album. So now it spells out on you. Very nice. Okay, and they also gifted me this card. Well, that's crooked. Damn. <laughs> there we go. And that is the third photo book card. So as you can see, those are complete. I'm very excited. So now I'm only missing the two Digipack cards. And then Circle is also, not Circle, what am I saying? <laughs> Dice, I mean, is also complete. But speaking of Circle, I'm very excited. the first photo book card. And 
And this one, my favorite. Love this one, so cute. So, photo book is complete, and Digipack is also complete. And I also have one of the stickers. So now I'm only missing this one, and this is basically the last item that I need from all Circle album inclusions. And then I'm going to be done with Circle. I'm excited. I'm ready for the repackage. No, I'm not. I'm absolutely not. Um, considering how many album versions there are going to be for Hard and, you know, all the photo cards. Um, I'm not ready for the repackage, so I'm going to be honest, as weird slash mean, rude, whatever it may sound, I really hope now with Jinky's hiatus and like, you know, health break, I guess, um, I hope that the repackage is delayed. Like, I really genuinely hope for it. I know this sounds weird because, like I said, he's my old and I'm always excited for his solo stuff and everything um but i need a break <laughs> y'all i need a break i need to breathe um so yeah i really hope it's delayed not by much just maybe like a month or two so yeah anyways let's continue with this page because we're gonna complete it so here is the s mini And here's the QR. And there we go. This is all complete. I'm very excited. Oh, this looks nice. <laughs> okay, next up. Ooh, very exciting. I'm gonna start my Jonghyun Solar Collection. Woohoo! So here is the first one. And the second one. Yeah, what's really nice about Jonghyun's solo cards is that he has exactly nine cards, which is perfect. Absolutely perfect. I love it when things work out like that. So, yeah, we're excited to finally have these in my binder. Okay, next up we have gasoline. I'm also going to complete this page. I'm not going to complete gasoline, but I'm going to complete this page. So here we have this album card. Don't know from which version this is. I think it's from the VHS version, if I'm not mistaken. So. And then we have this, I don't know what this is exactly um event pc i'm just gonna call it event pc for gasoline as well so yeah this page is also complete and then for killer i have this game pack version pc that i traded for there we go then we move on to Japanese solo. So, for Life Goes On, I have quite a few cards, which is very exciting. So, because Life Goes On is probably one of the most difficult collections ever. <laughs> it's really, really painful. Like, cards are just impossible to find. Very, very difficult, very um, overpriced sometimes. So yeah, anyways, so here we have this one from the A version. And 
this one from the A version. So those are complete. Oh, I just got a notification that Jinky added to his Instagram story. Great. I'm assuming he just reposted the teaser photo that dropped like an hour ago, which very pretty, by the way. Excuse me, E. Jinky. He's wearing a skirt. Excuse me. <laughs> you look so beautiful. Oh my god. And Minho also in a long skirt. Bro. Who? Who? Yeah, very pretty. All of them look so gorgeous. Kibam, Timin as well. Um, so yeah, this is from the B version. And this one from the C version. Very nice. The page is filling up a little bit. And then I have this for the D version. This was the first version I got, so this was my original first album pull, I guess. And then we have the E version card. So yeah, now I have a card, at least one card for every version and both A and G are complete and here i keep my shiny freebies then we move on to circle fan signs and pops so yeah i'm gonna complete almost the entire page um except for one card which is this yes 24 fan sign card but I have it on the way, it just didn't arrive in time for this video. Um, however, I think it might arrive very soon, along with two other cards that I'm gonna get to later. So, if I remember, I'm gonna just like, you know, take a clip of, of me unboxing those photo cards and um, putting them in my binder and just adding that clip to this main video. Um, if, I if I remember it and if the cards arrive in time, like before I post this video, we will see. Anyways, so first we have the Hot Tracks fan sign card. Then we have Sonara. I think I mentioned in my unboxing video, but I just want to stress this in case this is someone's first video, first time watching me. Um, I do not support Sonara, um, but when I bought this PC, um, I didn't know about the horrible things regarding Sonara and the company's CEO. So yeah, but from now, from now on, I will no longer purchase anything from Sonara, so yeah. Just wanted to let you know in case in case someone's new here and thinks that I support Sonara and don't care about human rights, I guess. Um, I do, I totally do. Um, yeah, this was just before I found out about everything. So yeah, then we have Music Korea. <laughs> I love how this is from the SM Town and Store fan sign. I love how these are the same outfit and possibly taken two seconds apart. <laughs> but this one's so dark and this one's super like light. Like, I don't know, <laughs> it's very strange. But anyways, so this is Music Korea and in town and store and then we have the two unboxing PCs so this is the first one and the second one and then for these two spots I just decided to put 
these Universal Music Japan Pops. These are Japanese, but whatever. They're also circle related. They barely fit into the sleeve. This is, uh, it's just weird, but whatever. So, and this is the second one. So yeah, almost complete. I'm very, very excited. Ugh, gorgeous, stunning. And yeah, here I have nothing, but as you can see, I have stuff on the way. This is from Fansland uh, Fansign. Um, I joined a bunch of group orders and I applied for the second round myself. Didn't make it. Um, and actually, <laughs> during the first round, I also won a giveaway to apply for the fan sign, but didn't make it. So <laughs> yeah, anyways, but I have lots of cute photo cards and Polaroids on the way. So I'm very excited for those. And then we get into merch cards. So this is everything from Jinky's concert merch, the one that he had in March right before Circle's release. So here we have the AR ticket photo card. Then my absolute favorite card, the Jingle King doll key ring photo card. Go and the acrylic standy cart. There we go. And yeah, here I reserved a spot for the perfume set cards. Hopefully I can get these one day. And then on here I have the, well, I wanna put the fortune scratch cards. So I have the selfie. And the other selfie. And one of the concept cards. And here on the sides, I'm going to put the six scratch cards. I scratched all of these and I pulled one dupe, but whatever. I don't care and I'm not too, like, um, I don't care too much about these scratch cards, so I think I'm not gonna get more than these six. Maybe we will see if they come in a set with, with the concept cards that I'm missing, then maybe, but other than that, I don't really care for these. <laughs> So, I mean, I guess I could show them. <laughs> so, here's the back. Let me see the dupe I pulled. Oh yeah, this is the this is the dupe. I have a second one of that. So, I'm just going to store it right here. And we have this one. I mean, I guess you can pause and translate it if you want to. And this one. And this one. There we go. Oh, that looks pretty. I love that. Then, um, no, this is for the other Fortune Scratch cards. But here I have the clear cards, the random clear cards from the Japanese concert merch. And for that, I have this one. Yeah, these are not really high priority for me, so I will just get these eventually i guess so yeah 
And let's move on. Okay, yeah, here I have the 14th anniversary card set PC. This is just kind of like my random merch PC page. I don't know. But yeah, this one. And nothing on this page, no. Uh, yeah, then we have the season's greetings stuff. Which was three cards this time because they released um, a collect book with the um, with a photo card. So as you can see, the year before and the year before that, um, they only released like the photo pack as merch and it came with a selfie and a concept card. But yeah, this year it um, came with one more. So this is from the photo pack, the selfie. And we have the concept. And the collect book PC. And then on the next page, finally, it's been 50 years, I can finally complete this page with this card. I finally have it. Great. There we go. Oh, finally. <laughs> I'm so happy to have this completed. And then let's move on to SMCU Palace. So first an album card. From that I have the um, photo book version. I forget the exact name, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. So there we go. Yeah, and then for the random packs, you may have seen my unboxing of the Pink Christmas um, random photo pack, uh, photo card packs, um, which was an absolute disaster. <laughs> like, I pulled so many dupes, so many. Um, lots of Kibom and Minho dupes and one single jinky um but yeah luckily i found a trade for one of them and the other one i purchased so those two are on the way as well and like i said earlier if i remember it i'm gonna just unbox um those two photo cards on camera and store them in my binder also on camera and just add that clip onto here but we will see so, yeah, then we have key bumps and another key bomb. I pulled like four of these and I've been able to sell one of them and I still have two of those left. <laughs> yeah, not sure what I'm going to do with that, but whatever. Oh, I have two minhals. I forgot. So, yeah, this is the first one. And the second one, so cute. So, yeah. And then we have all the SMCU Palace merch. So this is the AR ticket set card. The four by six photo. And last but not least, I have Minho's four by six. I'm thinking what this is. Oh, yeah, this is. I already set up for the um, 
the um, the pop-up store merch, the um, Moment of Shine. So here I have the, um, I'm gonna have the random trading card packs. There were two versions, the concept version and the um, character version. So I have a few of Jinkies on the way and also I think I pulled Minho and Kibam as well. But for now I only set up for Jinkies, but I'm gonna set up for the other two as well. And then here I have from the actual merch, um, I have these two on the way from the PC holder and the postcard book set, but I just set up for the other ones as well. And yeah, there's more merch coming, which I have to set up for. Um, we have the fan meeting merch and um, the concert merch. <laughs> so yeah, lots of merch. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, those are all uh, the cards that I had to store. Oh, let me look at this page once more. <laughs> so cute, I love this page. And I'm gonna be very, very excited when this finally arrives so I can put it in here and complete the page as well. So yeah, let me just, <laughs> just close this up real quick. So yeah, that's it for this video and thank you so much for watching and I hope this wasn't too awkward, but yeah, thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye! So like I said, if I receive any missing photo cards before I post the video, I would film myself storing these photo cards away and this is what this is. I received my fan sign albums two days so I have a bit to store, actually just two cards but whatever. So yeah, I have one photo card and one Polaroid to store. Um, these are dupes of this photo card but I'm gonna sleeve them anyways and just put them to the side. So yeah, let's just sleeve them first. I use Dragon Shield also in the um, description box. All right, there we go, all done. So let me put these to the side and flip to the page where I want to store them. There we go. So these are from round two. So it's this one and this one. So first we have the photo card so cute I love this one I think this is I think this is one of my favorite photo cards of him I don't know I just really love this one it's so cute so we store this right here very cute and then we have the Polaroid which luckily is photo card sized about photo card sized and fits perfectly in here it's just a little crooked as I'm noticing right now, I hope let me adjust that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that fits quite nicely. So yeah, that is it for um, this clip. So yeah, should any other cards arrive in the next few days, um, I will just make more clips and just add them to the bigger video. So yeah, um, that's it for now. And another clip to add to the storing photo cards video. However, I think this might be the last one, maybe the second last one. I don't know. Um, I want to post this video next week. Um, and I don't think I will be receiving much mail until then, if any at all, we will see. I mean, I have 
two photo cards still on the way technically, but they seem to be taking a long time, so I don't know if they will arrive on time. But anyways, today I have this one card to store. It just arrived and I just wanted to make this video right away. Um, so yeah, I will sleeve this one real quick and then we will we will store it. So yeah, I'm so excited to have this card and to store it finally. Yay. Oops. There we go. So cute. I can't. <laughs> okay, I'm going to store it right here. There we go. Page is filling up. So yeah, I have the third one on the way but yeah that seems to be taking a long time i don't know i don't i don't know but like mail from from the uk great britain always takes so long like i don't know why like when i send something to the uk it always arrives pretty quickly but whenever i receive mail from great britain it's always like taking so goddamn long I don't know why. I'm assuming it's because of, you know, Brexit or whatever, but even then it still doesn't make sense how mail from me to them arrives quickly. I don't even know. Whatever. <laughs> it's not the point of this video. But yeah, that's it. This It was just this one card and um, yeah, I will see you in the next clip maybe. If not, then this is the end of the video, so bye!